Hey guys, what's up? It's Teal Baby Sims here and I'm coming to you with a new video to talk about Pixelberry Studios' most controversial book release, Surrender. Who? okay. Surrender. Ugh. Okay, so um let's, let's just let's just get into it. Okay, so let's talk about the problem with Surrender and why I haven't played it yet. Um so let me rephrase that. I actually have played it. I played the first chapter um, up until the point where you spend your very first diamond, uh, your your very first set of diamonds on like this scene, I guess, where the uh, the love interest um, wants to talk more about BDSM with the with the MC. Hey, <sighs> you guys. OK, um, this is going to be kind of a harsh critique of Pixelberry Studios. Um so if you don't, if you don't want to hear any bashing, then I guess, you know, don't watch the rest of this video, but I'm going to, I'm just going to be real about it. I'm just going to be completely real about it. Um, this is a crappy book. It's crappy. Um, I mean, God, there's so many things wrong with this book. Uh, let's just start off with the fact that the way that they, the main character and the love interest meet in the first place is weird and cringy. And, and just unrealistic. I talked about in uh, one of my earlier videos about how I cannot stand how PB has the main character and love interest meet in this really weird, unrealistic way. Like, okay, so in the very first chapter, how they meet the main love interest, the, the single love interest, because it is a single love interest book. Um, the way that they meet them is as their divorce attorney um okay so why is the divorce attorney for the main character talking about anything even remotely um flirtatious or provocative or what like i mean i mean this is this is just against so many ethical i mean it's just it's unrealistic and I mean, in real life, if you were going to a divorce attorney and they started talking to you like this about this, um, I mean, probably be disbarred, right? <laughs> I mean, it's just weird. I, I couldn't finish the chapter. I couldn't finish it. It was that cringy. It was that awkward. And um, I forget when it was released, um, but I did actually uh, play it that Friday that it was released. Um and I was like, no, <laughs> just completely exited the app. I'm like, I'm not doing this. Um, and I, I felt like, you know what? I didn't really give it a chance because I felt like it was already going to be cringy. Um, so let me just go ahead and try to replay. And I did this the other day. I went ahead and tried to replay the first chapter. Nope. <laughs> Still couldn't get past that first scene. Um, I mean, you guys, I mean, what? Like, it's just really weird. It's really weird and really awkward. So let me... Um, let me hold on one second. I'm trying to pull up the um, the description of the first chapter of Surrender that they have on there. So let me pull it up really quickly. Okay, here it is. It's titled An Introduction. When you catch your ex with the dominatrix, you're shocked and intrigued. You start to explore BDSM yourself, but can you surrender to your desires? So... Uh, Pixelberry Studios could have actually really seriously did a lot with this book. Um, you know, they could have introduced um, this to, to the community in a positive way, in an educational way, in an informative kind of way. Instead, they said that they did their research on BDSM by watching Fifty Shades of Grey, which I've never seen. But I mean, you know... We, we've all seen um, bits and pieces here and there, little snippets, and everyone pretty much gets what the gist is about. You've seen a preview for it. You've seen something about it. You've seen people talk about the book. You've seen fanfic. You, <laughs> if you're alive, Fifty Shades has made its way across your whatever social media platform you've ever been on. So you, you've definitely seen it. Um, and you can guess what it's about. I mean, it's just overly... Um, yeah, I, I I don't even have the words for, to describe Fifty Shades, so I'm just gonna <laughs> leave that be. Y'all can decide that one for yourselves. But let me just 
Let me just talk about the love interest in Surrender. The love interest is extremely entitled and annoying. Um, I, I like, I know they're supposed to be a dom, but like, I, I think the part that irritates me with this is that there's inappropriate power dynamics from, from the get go. Um, inappropriate power dynamics. BDSM was not thoroughly researched. And in my personal opinion, maybe some people don't feel this way, but I feel like consent is clearly missing from this situation. And let me talk about what I mean by that. Um, you know, in the first chapter, Pixelberry is like explaining what's going on. And they're like, you know, you'll have opportunities in this book to show off your submissive side. So why, at, like, if this is supposed to be about BDSM, right? Where, like, do we even give the MC, like, the opportunity, the option to choose whether they want to be a dom or a sub? Like, she's not even, she hasn't even learned anything about it. And automatically she's a sub? Like, I, like, let, let, let them choose. Let them learn more about it. Let them be informed and like at least be able to see which role they want to take. But no, they're automatically a sub. So, you know, that, I don't know. To me, the the consent is clearly missing. Um, Let's see. I feel like they had to be, the, the, the main character had to be submissive in order to gain the love interest um, favor from the jump. And like that in and of itself is just, especially considering the fact that the book is gender locked and you can only be a woman as the main character. I mean, it's just feeding into this like misogynistic women are submissive type bullshit. Oh, I don't know if I could say that on YouTube. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, and even if, even if the love interest um, isn't, um, gender locked either like it's still just bull you know what I'm saying like it's just it's crap it's crap regardless I just I'm, I'm not with it I'm not with it even if it is a woman loving women loving women situation you know what I'm saying like even if it is a lesbian couple that you choose to have for um your um your choices main character and love interest it's still weird that the main character has to be a sub like, I don't know. That's just weird to me. It's very, very weird. I don't like it. Um, so that was like the first thing that made me just ugh, not even want to read this book. Um, let's see what else. The fact that the main character has to be a sub takes away from her autonomy, right? Like she can't even choose. There's no options for them to learn more. I mean, like the very first, in, like, I, I mean, I think I just said this, but the very first introduction to BDSM is like inappropriate with the, with her divorce attorney. Like, What the heck is this? It's just inappropriate. It's inappropriate. So let's talk about the, um, the, the, the power dynamics and, and why it's inappropriate. Okay. So you have an attorney who sees, a, so, okay. Basically the main character is a woman who catches her ex cheating on her with the dominatrix. And she's like, Oh no, now I want a divorce. Cause you cheated on me. The cheating part I get cheating uh, or not uh, like wanting to divorce them because of BDSM when she's literally just going to jump from her ex to her attorney, which is weird. And, and, and just go into BDSM with them. It's like, well, then what was the problem? I understand the cheating was the problem, but I, I personally think that uh, Pixelberry Studios really just like did not care about how they introduced BDSM. They were just like, we're just going to make it raunchy. We're just going to put it out there like that. You know, I mean, it was sloppy, sloppy, just, just sloppy and careless, irresponsible, reckless, just wrong. So as soon as they speak with the attorney, you get this really super aggressive persona within the first five minutes of reading the chapter. And they're already telling the main character what to do by the end of the chapter. And I have receipts. I did not play. I, I don't have walkthrough for it. I don't have, I don't have any gameplay for it. So I don't have any screenshots of my own that I can give you. But I was on Tumblr <laughs> and I was looking through the surrender tag and I did see a lot of different people with their different screenshots from their gameplay, which I will add to, um, um, this video shortly just to show you guys what I'm talking about um so yeah they're already telling the the main character what to do within like the first um five minutes and by the end of the chapter they're like do what I say or some weird crap like I don't know it's just freaking weird this book reeks it just reeks of like desperation and 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 
like Facebook moms who get wine drunk at three o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday. Like it's just weird. And you know, I'm not talking mess about anybody because if you get wine drunk at three o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday and you ain't got nothing else to do and that's your day and that's how you unwind, do you? You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not judging. I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying. Like this is just. Yeah, this is this is really this is really bad. Um, let's see. <sighs> okay, so I did play through to, up to this part. I believe there's a scene in the first chapter where the love interest wants to try handcuffs on the main character. In their very first client attorney meeting. What the freak? Like, I, like, okay, like I said, if this was happening in real life, I'm, I'm calling the law, okay? Like, hello, 911. Like, no, this is insanely inappropriate. Insanely inappropriate. It's just not believable. It's not conceivable. It's just not, it's cringy. Because who would go for that? Like, I'm leaving your office and I'm reporting you seriously that's my those are my only thoughts and options i'm leaving this meeting right now get away from me i'm going to literally report you that that would be like my very first thought if that kind of any any kind of sick inappropriate behavior was happening like that with me meeting a divorce attorney she's already vulnerable the main character she's literally getting a divorce she just got cheated on why are you like trying to <clears throat> Excuse me. Why are you like trying to try on handcuffs with her and doing all this? Like, it's just inappropriate. Okay. It just is. Um, just no. So I don't know. I just, I, I feel like, I just feel like PB could have done so much better. If you're an OG choices player, man, this content makes you want to vomit because you had really good content, um, back in the day. You know, um, Endless Summer, Most Wanted Hero. I've talked about these books already and why I think that they're really good. You know, if you get that, if you go back to the books that Pixelberry Studios released in 2016 and you compare that with the junk that they have out right now, I mean, this is smut and filth. And hey, look, listen, don't get me wrong. I like smut and I like filth every now and again, okay? I don't mind reading it, you know? Um, But when every book is smutty and filthy and the dialogue isn't even good. I mean, like, where, just, you know, how do you go from, I just shook hands with you to you're trying to put on handcuffs. You're trying to put me in, like, this, it, this, come on. It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's unrealistic. And this is what I mean. This is what I'm tired of. I'm tired of this crap. You know, and as I've said in my previous videos, and I, I'm not taking that back, like how I said um, that um, Pixelberry uh, Studios choices, they're going to have a revival because I do believe that Wake the Dead and Crimes of Passion can really get the, I mean, the dialogue, the back and forth, everything that's going on in both of those books. I love it. Stop tier. Um, so, you know, we're getting back to where they used to be back in 2016, but man, I tell you, like, surrender is crap, you guys. It's crap. Um, it just is. If, if you guys want me to, like, do a playthrough, I might. I ain't gonna spend any diamonds on it because, no. <laughs> but I will play through it if you guys want to see that. And if you guys really, really want me to do the diamond scenes or the diamond choices, I, I might do that too. But, um... Yeah, like, you guys will have to let me know if you want me to do any playthrough. But honestly, like, it would take some serious convincing. Because honestly, like I said, I, I couldn't even get through the first chapter. It was bad. It was really bad. But if y'all want me to play through it just to show you how horrible it is, I, I might be up for that. I'm not going to say I'll do it. I might be up for it. Anyway, let's just, um, let's let's talk about the main character now. She's so dang mousy. And I, I, like I said, I have not played through the entire first chapter, but just from what I experienced within like just the first chapter, like the first five minutes, like she's just so mousy and blushing and hot and bothered about everything. And it's like literally nothing is happening. Like the, the main character, not the main character, the love interest is literally just standing there and she's all hot and bothered. I'm like, they're not even, oh, and let's talk about the, um, the main, not the main character. I'm sorry. The love interest I thought that they were all very unattractive. 
That's just my personal opinion. Oh, except for the women. The women were very attractive. The men, not so much. Not so much. So, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Um, the main character is really mousy. And I, I despise that because I, like, have some backbone. You know, I, like, I, if you walk into a meeting with an attorney and they're talking to you like you're some kind of... Um, pleasure object and not an actual person or a woman who is seeking legal advice about a divorce like there's no way you would get away with asking me if I want to try on handcuffs like I, like that's just not gonna work I don't know what this is but it ain't gonna fly and I feel like the fact that like the main character didn't even have like the option to reject that or maybe you I think you do have the option to reject that but I don't know it's just weird it's just weird you guys it's it's really cringy it's just really weird and, um, you know, like I said before, Pixelberry Studios could have actually done something really great with this book. They could have done something really, really great with it. I mean, if they had highlighted information, consent, safety, you know, they could have introduced the BDSM community to the choices community, not saying that people who play choices, you know, aren't involved in voice, both communities, but, you know, just like doing a book on it and, and presenting this information in an informative and safe and, uh, just, just proper manner. Um, they could have really provided more information, um, about the kink community and they completely fumbled the ball with surrender. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say about it. So I'm going to just go ahead and, um, show you guys these tweets or not tweets i'm sorry uh these posts on tumblr that just really talk about um how i am not the only one who despises this book basically (laughs) so let's see scree skrill alta hope i'm saying that right squirrel alta skirt skirt alta on tumblr says the problem with the smut books lately is that they have all the i don't think i can say that word on youtube but none of the seduction where's the descent where's the temptation the siren song of hedonism and lore of carnal pleasure that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about girl like like what you know like i mean i don't know i know i keep saying like <laughs> but I, I i have no words i have no words for how crappy this book is so i'm just gonna read other people's words to you guys so that you can understand that i'm not being a hater and i'm not unnecessarily hating on pb this is just crap content and you know what they know it and what also irritates me is the fact that pb acts like oh yeah we're listening to all of our players feedbacks so we want to hear what you guys have to say we want to we, we're gonna do better no you're not i mean hold on let me backtrack I'm not saying that they're not going to do better because I do believe that they intend to. But as far as, you know, taking what players have already said into consideration, I'm going to be honest. If you had actually been listening this entire time, Shipwrecked would have been much better because it was a smut book, which is fine. But it the like the dialogue was lacking. Just it just was really weird and kind of corny and cringy. And Manu was a really um, annoying character. Um, At some points he was cool, but like Manu was really annoying. Um, So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, let's see. Um, I actually I can't say that first word, but for Ian Kingsley, blank for Ian Kingsley uh, says I just read this blog post and it makes me so mad that they watched 50 shades for inspiration for surrender they need to talk with people in the bdsm community about the lifestyle they need to research it study it not just watch a dumb movie they have no idea how dangerous it could be by releasing a book like this that is inaccurate what if it is inaccurate and people with half a brain cell reads this and decides to practice it that's thank you thank you hello BDSM can easily turn into abuse, not just physically, but mentally too. Not only could releasing an inaccurate BDSM based book be dangerous, but it's also disrespectful. Both of these things, yes, dangerous and disrespectful to people in the community by writing an inaccurate and stigma, um, I think she meant stigmatized, book based on their lifestyle. I swear they don't think before writing 
blank like this. Please reblog. Yes, blank for Ian Kingsley. You are correct. You're correct. I mean, come on. I mean, it's just inappropriate. It's just it's just disrespectful, dangerous, all the things that she said, all of that. Um, let's see. Bisexual Maelstrom 10 said, why does BDSM fiction always have to romanticize? Yes, have to be romanticize an abuser who tries to control every aspect of your life instead of explore some, instead of explore some fun, kinky sex. Oh, damn, I'm going to blank that out. <laughs> I don't think I can say that on YouTube. Um, and loving aftercare with a powerful yet sweet hottie. This is what I'm saying. Like, why can't it be, like, what it's actually supposed to be instead of this weird, half-baked erotica piece that's just not even good, you know? Uh. Okay, let's see. Um, The first courtesan had an Anon ask, and they said, do you like crimes of passion? Oh, wait, hold on. Whoops. That's the wrong one. (laughs) That's the wrong one. Okay. Oh, okay. So let me show you. I was looking for something from the the first courtesan. And um, they had a lot to say about this on Tumblr. That's why. And um, they were talking. They showed a a screenshot of their gameplay. I'm going to put it in right here. And um, their love interest that they chose said this to the main character. Haven't you figured that out by now? No one tells me what to do. Not my family, not my friends, and definitely not a woman like you. WTF, guys. WTF. <laughs> like, th- this is supposed to be a likable character because I want to punch this person in the face. Like, what? Like, like who? I-, I would never let someone say this to me. So this is what I mean by the fact that the main character is going to even have a um a relationship, professional or otherwise, with this person. You will not speak to me this way. That Like, I- I'm going to slap you. Like, who are you talking to? Respect me. There's no respect in this store. Uh, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Okay, so some choices. Bingle Bonkers. <laughs> That's an interesting username. Said, so it's going to be 50 Shades of Grey knockoff. Got it. Emotionally distant yet bold boy. As if they won't be the 50th emotionally distant yet bold love interest we've had. Get some, Hashtag get some new material, please. Hashtag I beg of you. I feel it. And as I said, the 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 female love interest, very attractive. The male love interest, not so much. Not so much. Um, let's see. Mithras said, I can't believe surrender is a legit thing Pixelberry decided to release. Hashtag I'm too scared to open it. Hashtag especially since I'm with family on Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, don't don't open it because it's gonna be Ooh, yeah, can't even. Mm-mm. Okay, so let's see. The first courtesan said, "As gross as Reagan, Reagan is the um the original name for the love interest in Surrender. That's like just the original name that PP chose. Obviously, you can change it. Um, as gross as Reagan is, the Surrender main character is a bigger problem for me. She's about to be divorced, has had her confidence shattered in multiple ways, and is returning to the workplace for the first time in years. Her ex told her she was too incompetent to work and then cheated on her. She is living in a hotel and taking a job as an intern. This is." a bad foundation for her to be exploring bdsm i work have, i would have r- rather had a powerful oh wait hold on i'm sorry i'm reading this wrong i would have rather had a confident powerful main character learning and exploring where's witness <laughs> mc when you need her for real <laughs> it is that's exactly what i was saying you guys before that um for surrender like why couldn't she choose why couldn't she choose? You know what I'm saying? Like, why does it have to be, oh, she's automatic? Like, she's going through a lot right now. Introduce her into it and not through some skeevy freaking divorce lawyer whose only objective is to make her his sub. Um, like, let her be introduced in a non-detrimental way. Like, she, like she's introduced to BDSM by her husband cheating on her and now she's getting the, come on. Come on. There were plenty of ways to introduce this. Um, there were plenty of ways to do this. And they, they just did it wrong. They, they dropped the ball. They did it wrong. The first courtesan is spot on with that assessment. Okay. So, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. So, here's the screenshot. Here's the screenshot. Um, J. Mo Jelly Bay. 
um, added her screenshot from her game. And so there's a text from Reagan that says, have you been good and done what I asked or do I need to punish you? And there is a writing crop. This is the very first day of their job. This is what I mean by inappropriate. Inappropriate. Who? So I don't know how the main character starts working for um, the love interest, Reagan. I don't know because I didn't play through. And I, <laughs> like I said, y'all will have to convince me. If y'all ask for it, I'll do it. If not, I mean, I might do it. Um, if not, then I'm just not going to waste any time or any diamonds on it. You know, it's ridiculous. But the very first day, the very first day, like that's weird. Uh, come on. It's cringeworthy. Like, I, this whole conversation would not be happening in real life. It's too fast-paced. It's too weird. And it's, like I said, power dynamics, inappropriateness. I already said all that before. It just gets weirder and weirder as you continue to read. And you know what I thought? Because sometimes a book doesn't necessarily have a good first chapter. Um, so, you know, maybe you got to, like, read through chapter two to, like, really give it a chance. And you're like, uh, maybe there are some plot holes in the first chapter. But other than that, the book was really, really good. No, no. No, because from the screenshots that I've seen on Tumblr, dude, the book reeks. It just it reeks. Okay, so here's an art scene um, of somebody's uh, Reagan or love interest from Surrender. Um, as I said, you guys, the art, the art scenes, the CG that Pixelberry has been putting out there, it is, <laughs> it's top tier. I know I say that a lot, but it is. Like, see, see how crappy the writing is in this book. But the, um, there's those stupid handcuffs. Um, but the, the, the art scenes are like, look at this. Come on now. This is a a fabulous art scene, but the writing, the plot, the storyline, the, the, it, it, it's crap. It's, it's, it's crap. Complete crap. Okay. Let's see. Hopelessly Devoted on Tumblr said, okay, so I replayed Surrender just to see if the initial cringe factor eventually wears off. It doesn't. (laughs) See, she's backing me up here. And I think I'm ready to articulate my thoughts. Okay. Number one, I need Pixelberry to understand that just because the majority of the readers gravitated towards one or two particularly gruff, swarmy love interests does not mean they can use those same personality traits for every single love interest that follows it will not hit the same preach preach uh number two the love interest is an that word (laughs) outside the cheating outside of the cheating i have yet to see what makes them so much better than the main character soon to be x they're domineering and controlling and they don't seem to have much of a sense of humor nor do they leave room for banter Example, the main character made a joke in chapter two while they were at a restaurant and Reagan gets super bent out of shape and says it's ground for grounds for being punished. Oh, God. See, I didn't get that far. I didn't read that. So, you know, God, I didn't waste my time having to get through that cringe. Number three, the writer should have opened the book with the main character making the decision to enter the world of BDSM play all on their own volition maybe stumbled upon the lawyer at a sex club we're gonna have to bleep that out i don't think you can say that word on YouTube. um the love interest interest is all but forcefully dragging them into it that's what i'm saying like give the girl a choice and then like okay like you know it, it like how they presented the scenario if they had met the lawyer in like you know some sort of dungeon or you know whatever some kind of little party or whatnot then that would be um kind of different you know, um, I still think like inappropriate because of the whole power dynamics, but it would still be different. Not you walked into my office, you're paying me to represent you and I'm trying to, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I agree with what they're saying. Um, number four, I don't know anything about the world of BDSM outside of the few books I've played on chapters, But in those books, before any type of play takes place, there are lengthy conversations about consent, safe words, boundaries, limits, etc. Going back to item three, I'm not seeing that here. And we have a dom who is toying with someone who they met a week ago, who isn't all in, nor do they have boundaries. Where does the lawyering stop and the dominating start and vice versa? That, you know, precisely the point. This is what I meant by the safety and consent and boundaries. Like, come on. Like, PB could have really outdone themselves with this book. Um, but they chose to just like, 
they chose to just do just basically copy 50 shades and throw it out there and that's it you know it's just <sighs> oh <laughs> choices are rar xd said surrender more like surrender my will <laughs> okay um i'm just gonna let you guys read that one because there's yeah i can't read that but yeah you guys see it i mean and you know I, that's why i'm not reading it that's why i'm not gonna read it because it's it's crap okay let's see um who is this okay zoe wade's wife said on tumblr my main character has shown literally zero interest towards their lawyer and already they are crossing so many professional and personal boundaries pb can and should do so much better write D- bdsm books but do it well where research has been put in and they are properly representing what bdsm actually is make the relationship healthy where the where the conversations are about consent and respect is shown thank you like how freaking hard is that it's not instead we get a toxic love interest already displaying major red flags in my opinion taking advantage of an emotionally and financially unstable person who just got out of another toxic relationship and is in the midst of a divorce this book is a whole lot of you know what and i feel the exact same way it's just unrealistic and weird very very weird um let's see zathra said mc getting into bdsm from catching her spouse cheating with the dominatrix is such a weird way to set up the story like i feel like there are more tasteful ways to set that up idk and i feel the same way i feel the exact same way because it's just weird it's like you could have there's i I mean there's so many things pb could have done they could have had like a you know I don't know. I can't even give an example. These these guys on Tumblr are giving great examples of what they could have done. And it, it's just PB didn't do it. They were being lazy. I don't know if they like fired all the good writers or maybe they left or I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But this this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it at all. Mrs. Nazario. Oh, after Damien. Um, Mrs. Nazario said, so I already knew that Surrender wasn't going to be the book for me because I'm not a fan of erotica or fast-paced romance, especially with all of that cringy dialogue where the characters come on way too strong, way too fast, and in the most awkward or inappropriate settings. But for anyone who, like me, is going to read this book as a diamond mine or just out of pure boredom, I can tell you with a 100% certainty that the love interest is much more tolerable if you choose the free options. Some of his slash her dialogue in the diamond scenes in the diamond scene screenshots i saw today was horrifying hashtag this book was worse than i expected hashtag and i already expected it to be bad (laughs) you're so right mrs nazario love that username damien was an underrated character in um damn it what was was the book called perfect match yeah um okay choices bxth I think I'm done playing choices. Their writing is just god awful and they don't listen to or nor care about the feedback from their fans. This is everything I've been saying. Accurate. Just spot on 100%. So let's see what else. Sporticus1234 said, I swear, the first meeting between the two of them is in the attorney's office. Like, christian and anastasia's meeting okay so they're there so sporticus one two three four is comparing surrender to um uh 50 shades and it looks like choices copied them word for word bar for bar okay now let's see um i swear the first meeting between the two of them is in an attorney in the attorney's office like christian and anastasia's meeting they take the heli- they take a helicopter ride except the attorney doesn't fly it unlike Christian Gray the attorney has a bodyguard who knows about his proclivities <laughs> i hope i said that right <laughs> yet the attorney is still meticulous about safety like Christian Gray when the main character bites her lower lip the attorney wishes it was them biting it like Christian Gray the attorney is in the lifestyle and does not have a proclivity for long-term commitment like christian gray he's obsessing over the main character who is new to the bd bdsm world like anastasia Steele. this is literally 50 shades of gray just mildly changed i know we are only two chapters in but really exactly sporticus one two three four now i've never seen 50 shades but i mean you know this person says that they have 
they're giving, you know, um, similarities between the two and slight differences between the two. Um, I can't say they're a hundred percent right because I've never watched 50 shades, but I got a feeling they're pretty spot on. Uh, let's see. Uh, in Harris said, okay, I've read both chapters of 50 shades of surrender. (laughs) Funny. And I won't sugarcoat it. It's bad. It is bad. The writing is bad. The dialogues are cringy. Every single character feels like a caricature of what PB thinks characters of a grown up sexy book should be like the chapters are short and that's with diamonds oh i hate when they do that not to mention the obvious issues of consent hello pb cannot handle bdsm to save their lives and their supposed reach was oh i'm sorry research was watching 50 shades of gray on repeat which honestly tells me everything i need to know but i'll still continue it it's meant to be a I don't think I can say that word sultry book but it's honestly it honestly reads like a comedy and it's entertaining in that aspect laughing at PB's attempt at erotica is my new favorite hobby hashtag I also also I just want to see where it all leads up to to be honest um I, like I said if y'all can convince me to play it I might um other than that I'm gonna be on Tumblr looking at people's screenshots so I can just seethe about all of the crappy writing that pixelberry studios is putting out right now okay let's see in a crowd of choices i read the first two chapters of surrender disliked both of them very much the dual point of view does not help the story at all in this case and the whole setup for this story is just not it i wanted this book to be good and once again i'm extremely disappointed yeah yeah i feel it i i i tried to give it a chance i did Um, I had a feeling that it was going to be bad, especially when they released that um, newsletter or that update talking about how they watched Fifty Shades. I was like, er, er, er. But, um, (laughs) you know, I still wanted to give it a chance anyway. And I couldn't even get past the first diamond scene. So it is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, it, it was bad. It was bad. And um, I'm glad that I was able to show y'all that I am not the only person who thinks so. But yeah, you know, I mean, they could have done so much better. Um, And this could have really, really been a good book. And they could have kept all of the erotica and everything in there. It's just that they, they didn't try. They didn't try at all. They watched a movie. They put it out there. Um... And, and they were like, yeah, here you go. This is Fifty Shades, but it's a little bit different. So, you know, it's not the same thing. So, yeah, here you go. Like, wh- you, you could have done so much better. They could have done so much better. But anyways, with that being said, I bashed Pixelberry. All that I'm going to bash them tonight. So, yeah, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Do y'all actually like Surrender? And if you do, I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Um, let me know what you guys think of the, the book in the comments. If you like surrender, tell me what you like about it. And, you know, maybe I'm not hearing enough positive things about it. And you know what, to be honest, I'll be real about that. I haven't really heard anything positive about it. Um, except that people were like, Ooh, it's so steamy. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that's fine if that's, um, if that's what you like, but I I would, I would like for, um, if you do like surrender, I would like for you to tell me besides the steamy sultry scenes like what else do you like about the book like is the writing good or you know anything you know, tell me what tell me what else you like besides the steamy parts i guess um but yeah that being said you guys let me know what you think about everything in the comments if you hate it let me know if you like it let me know mm-hmm.